Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing about the syllabus structure or the syllabus content of deep learning subject of final year of information technology 2019 course pattern of Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. Okay, so let's start the video. So we have the subject of deep learning or uh, which is having the course code of 41443 where we have the mid same of 30 marks that is insane. Then we have the end same of 70 marks and total credits for this subject is 3. Then we have the lab associated with this subject as well, which is laboratory practice 4 or lab practice 4. Okay. So for lab, we have the practical slot of 2 hours. Uh, so that means uh, there will be only one slot per week. Then we have the term work for 25 marks. And then we have the practical for 25 marks. So in the practical only uh, Viva can be there depend uh, based on the practical that you perform. So there is no separate Viva or oral for this subject. So we have the credit for the practical as well, which is one credit. So total we have four credits for this subject, including theory as well as lab practice. Okay, so we'll now discuss about the unit and their topics so we have three credits for this theory mid semester of 30 marks and end semester of 70 marks so prerequisites for this subject is nothing but the machine learning and the mathematics that is discrete mathematics then you can go through this course objective and course outcomes so we'll directly jump to the course contents so first unit is fundamentals of deep learning so in this unit we will be learning about what is deep learning so this deep learning comes under ai ml that is artificial intelligence and machine learning domain then we will be learning about multi-layer perceptron that is multi-layer neural networks then what is feed forward neural then back propagation or backward propagation then we will be uh, seeing about the gradient descent what is gradient descent this is basically the optimization algorithm then what is vanishing gradient problem then we will be learning about the activation functions that can be used inside this multi-layer perceptron or the hidden layer so we have the three activation functions so first is the relu which stands for the rectified linear unit then we have the l relu which stands for leaky rectified linear unit then we have e relu which is also called as elu so e relu stands for exponential rectified linear unit uh, as I mentioned, it is also called as ELU that is exponential linear unit. Then we will be learning about the optimization algorithms, then hyperparameters. So these parameters are nothing but the variables that we use while training or uh, when our model is learning. Okay. Then we will be learning about this layer size, magnitude. In magnitude, again, we have the momentum and learning rate. Then we have the point of regularization. So in this again, there are four topics that is dropout, drop connect, L1 and L2. So dropout means what in this we clamp or remove the nodes, okay, directly the nodes. Then in drop connect, we remove the connection uh, weight. So we'll be seeing what is weight, what is uh, removing the connection, what is removing the node, network, neural, etc. Then this L1 uh, is also called as the Rasso regression and this L2 is also called as the ridge regression. So these are terms from the machine learning. Okay, now we'll move to the second unit, which is convolution neural networks. So here we will be learning about the convolution neural networks. So which is the type of artificial neural network, ANN. Then what are the operations of this convolution that we will be learning? Then what is meant by parameter sharing, equivariant re representation, then pooling, then variants of basic convolution function, here also we'll learn about the full convolution and unshared convolution, etc. Then we will see one basic architecture of CNN and popular CNN architecture of AlexNet. Okay, so this AlexNet in it we will learn about its architecture, then layers, parameters, etc. present inside this architecture. Then about the third unit, so third unit is about the recurrent neural networks. So here we will be learning about what is recurrent neural networks, their types, feed forward neural network, recurrent neural networks, then what is long short term memory networks, encoder decoder architectures, 
and recursive neural networks. So basically this whole unit is regarding the recurrent neural networks. Then we have the auto encoders. So these auto encoders basically are used to remove the noise from our images etc. Then we will be learning about auto encoders. Then what is regularized auto encoders? In that we have these sparse encoders, stochastic encoders and decoders. Then denoising auto encoders, which is a type of auto encoders. Then uh, contractive auto encoders and applications of these auto encoders. So where actually these auto encoders are used. Then the fourth unit is about representation learning. So here we will be learning about greedy layer wise pre training then uh, transfer learning and domain adaption then distributed representation and then the variance of CNN that is dense net sixth unit is about the applications of deep learning we have learned all this unit then what is the application or where we can use this deep learning concepts so here we will be seeing the applications in image classification social network analysis speech recognition recommender systems and natural language processing that is NLP so this is the applications of deep learning then uh, here you have the textbooks which you can use for this subject then uh, next we have the reference books so you can go through these books then here we have the ebooks or e-learning references that is online references that you can use so here they have given the various courses as well as the uh, website links so that you can refer so basically this is the course overview syllabus overview of the deep learning subject and the laboratory for this subject we will be discussing in the lab sections so from the next video we will start our start with the unit one concepts topics so do subscribe the channel for the upcoming videos and thank you for watching we'll see in the next video